So I'm going to talk about the uh, Institute of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation, which is part of the general hospitals at the University of Sao Paulo. So it's in Sao Paulo, Brazil, which is in the southeastern part of Brazil. Yeah, so um, the center's focus is, as the name suggests, physical medicine and rehabilitation, mm -hmm. which ranges from uh, clinical services as well as research uh, for people who have rehabilitation needs. So that might be uh, medical services like physiatry, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech and language therapy, but also the production and delivery of assistive products and devices, including prosthetics and orthotics. So they're a very well established, uh, renowned and experienced centre in the area of rehabilitation in the region. They've been working with us uh, primarily on global and regional initiatives around strengthening both the rehabilitation and the assistive technology sectors. So assistive technologies are devices like wheelchairs, walking aids, hearing aids, devices that assist people who have difficulties in function to function um, uh, and participate in society. There's two major initiatives that the WHO launched a few years ago. Mm -hmm the first uh, global uh, uh, cooperation on assistive technology, which looks to bring uh, more attention to assistive technology, mm -hmm. and the second, Rehabilitation 2030, which is again trying to raise the profile, attention and availability of rehabilitation services. So what the Brazil Centre has been doing is helping me to um, work on those initiatives within the region of the Americas mm -hmm. to make sure that rehabilitation and assistive technology get the attention they deserve. The first activity was uh, a hosting, the, the Centre hosted a meeting in November 2017 mm -hmm. of uh, representatives from ministries of health across the region. Uh, from disabled people's organizations and other NGOs, as well as uh, PAHO staff to really launch the initiative of Rehabilitation 2030 in the Americas. So I'd say first and foremost has been the contribution towards PAHO's action plan on disability and rehabilitation which is an uh, action plan from 2014 to 2019. And strategic area two of that plan really focuses on rehabilitation um, and assistive technology services. So the work that they're doing is directly contributing and impacting on member states' ability to achieve that plan through raising awareness of rehabilitation and assistive technology, through providing direct support and other initiatives. On a more global level, the centre has been facilitating and supporting particularly the global cooperation on assistive technology. The lead of the centre is a member of a steering committee um, that is working on a global report on assistive technologies and they've been providing other in-kind human resource support to help the Geneva team to achieve the goals within that initiative. 